What's good y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. And today I'll be checking out Bailey finally turns heel, man. Uh this has been all over my YouTube feed. Um I've been seeing it on social media and um this is dope. This is this is pretty cool to see another interesting storyline from the women's side of the division. Like that is very dope to see i wish they would put more care into what the men got going on i know they do have the king of the ring tournament which has been pretty enjoyable for the most part but this is the main storyline that people are really invested in ever since sasha came back so to see this this is pretty cool now i did see the clip prior to this where uh sasha banks and um becky lynch um they had a little back and forth like just a verbal back and forth so i did see that and i like the realism that they have been using in this storyline where they are actually talking about real situations that occurred after sasha banks left and how they're playing into it and i like that i like when they use real storylines and and give it that real feel you know they they put a little spin on it but they give it that real feel so it it, it comes off a little bit more believable this is dope to see bailey uh have a heel turn here so i want to see how the crowd reacts to this i want to see uh what really goes down man uh i'm looking forward to you know saying just her having a character change because she's been pretty stale since uh she uh left nxt well some people will say graduated from nxt other people will say demoted from nxt so we'll see uh how this plays out man um i'll also give uh, a little mini review of aew all out because i did check it out this uh weekend so uh let's hit this real quick and uh go from there all right let's check it out okay okay now it makes sense from their earlier uh verbal encounter that she would attack I like how she's actually getting some booze. Like, she's actually getting some heel heat. I like that. Sasha Banks look good, man. Her husband is a happy man. Hmm. I'm guessing they were, uh, there's a match. I did see there was a match. Um, they were like tag team partners. Both of the women's champions from each brand was going against uh, the women's uh, tag team champions. Oh, you see it. You see it. Wow. <laughs> wow and then Sasha just chilling in the back look at yo look at the crowd that's and then she's enjoying it oh I love it I love it oh man that was nice real quick real simple that was nice man I I like that I like that uh you can when she had the chair in her hand, it was kind of telegraphed a little bit too obvious, but it was still dope to see. So, and that's how they ended off the show, which is, it's crazy. The women are ending off the show better than the men are, man. Uh, I like it. I do like how they tied it in because, I, like I said earlier, I did check the promo uh, between Sasha and Becky. And Becky had made a comment saying, your best friend became champion while you were sitting home. I know that must sting. So I like how they tied that in together. And now, you know what I'm saying? She comes out there. They, they're tagging tonight. They're tag team partners tonight. And then she goes out there and pretty much attacks her. And I like that. So it'll be interesting to see where they go with this. This is like the second time Becky Lynch has been attacked. We'll see where it goes, man. Um, 
I, I do know they have the match confirmed for um, Clash of Champions. So I don't know who they're going to get the win to. I could see Sasha Banks getting the win. I wouldn't be surprised if she did get the win. But I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, how that plays out. So when it comes to Clash of Champions, this is probably one of the most entertaining things and one of the, one of the main things I'm actually looking forward to checking out. Uh, on Clash of Champions, out of everything, so that's that's pretty dope for WWE to really uh really uh put their women in a, a good position like uh, like this. Now, quick AEW review. I did watch it. Um, I'm gonna just say this, you know, real quick. Tag team match between the Young Bucks and the Lucha Bros. Best match, easily best match on that card. I enjoyed that match so much it was intense that is what tag team wrestling is about i wish wwe would really pick up on that because nxt does they have great tag team matches so if any company out of the wwe umbrella can match up with aew tag team wise it would be nxt but this is easily one of the best tag team matches i have seen so far this year so that was that was really good um actually to be honest with you i like the uh kenny omega and the Pac match better than the main event i enjoyed that match a lot that was pretty dope to enjoy pretty dope to watch to see um pack Pac x uh you know aka neville coming to his own and he has this just this aggressive gimmick and i like it and i mean i granted they did turn him heel before he uh left wwe but it was just dope to see him like just out there doing his thing thriving the same way with uh sean spears i think that's what his name is uh he used to be um Oh, what's I forgot his WWE name. It used to be uh he used to have the perfect 10 gimmick. I think his name is Sean Spears. I could be wrong. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. But him, seeing him uh in that match with Cody, that was dope. Just to see these former WWE guys that weren't really getting the proper booking, getting some pretty good booking. I love seeing that. Um I don't know what the match was called. That the match that was sponsored by Cracker Barrel was it was it was enjoyable i enjoyed that match for what it was that that spot with uh i don't even know his name i'm not familiar with everyone's name comment down below help me out here i'm getting new to this to the aew product i seen he did face cody banks at the last major pay-per-view um that i had saw where he pretty much does like this coffin drop move he did it with the barrel on his back smash straight through it onto some steel steps i thought he was dead that was intense i love it that was a fun match a hella fun match um also um the main event was cool for the most part it, it, it was okay um jericho the right man won Jer it would make sense jericho be the first champ the first big name to bring in the uh aew championship into uh to uh, i believe they're going to tnt so for them to bring that to television as the major champ i'm all for it man so overall i enjoyed aew for what it was there were some low points that i didn't really too much care for but for the for the most part i did enjoy aew so i just wanted to give you a quick review i, I watched the rest of the matches to me they weren't much noteworthy for me to speak on these were just the matches that i just felt like i you know i watched the most and enjoyed the most um and honestly they have some replay value probably not the aew championship match i probably wouldn't watch that again but definitely uh i'll call it the crackle barrel death match and the um the uh Pac versus um kenny omega match that's rewatchable and definitely if you haven't seen if you if you are a wrestling fan and you're not sure about aew just watch the tag team match between the lucha bros and the young bucks they will sell you just on their tag team division alone so check that out but hey i'm all for bailey turning heel this is dope we will see where things go um we'll see what becky lynch has to say in response to this uh this attack man you know what i'm saying so this was pretty cool so but i appreciate y'all 
kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next video peace